Compete at is a leader in online registration and member management. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Event Manager for online event registration. Event Manager can be used separately or in conjunction with a Membership Manager product. Event Manager allows you to easily create an event website with online payment capabilities, customize registration questions, search, view, and export participant details, send scheduled email notices to registrants. Event Manager also has advanced features for specific event types and sports. First, let's take a look at an event website I created using Event Manager. Here, we see a branded website that is open for registration. A description of the event is shown at the top, and we see fees and event divisions down the left side. As the administrator, you control all of this content on each page using a simple editor, and event web pages can be turned on and off with the click of a mouse. Let's log into my account and create a new event. From the admin homepage, you see clearly labeled links to common tasks. To get started with a new event, click the Create New Event button. First, we have to select which type of event I'm creating. Depending on the type of event, you may see additional options. For instance, for team sports like volleyball, you have two options for team registration. Simple, in which one person enters the entire roster, or complex, in which each person on the team must be invited and complete any necessary forms. For this demonstration, let's keep it simple and create a general meeting in which each person registers individually. On the first step of the wizard, I enter the basics for the event, such as name, location, and dates. The date field will automatically turn on and off the registration link on your public event page. All required fields are clearly marked in green. With this complete, I can move to the next step to create divisions or categories for this event. Think of divisions as a way to segment your participants. For instance, you may want to create a division based on gender or age. Divisions can also be used to separate multi-day events. For instance, you may have an event that runs on Saturday and Sunday, and you want participants to indicate which days they will attend. Finally, if it's a race, you could create a division for 5K, 10K, fun run, etc. It's completely up to you. For this example, I'm setting up a two-day event and restricting entries so that the user can only select one of these days. You can always change your divisions later, but it's a good idea to properly plan your event prior to opening it for online registration. Next, in the requirement step, I can add event waivers and turn on common forms, such as a health form. The entry form asks the basic information, such as name, address, age, etc. After I complete this setup wizard, I can go back and create an additional form to present during registration. This is a great feature which is explained in great detail in another demonstration video. In this step, I can turn on or off key event web pages. Let's turn on a page to provide more details about the event sponsors. Finally, we can set the fees for this event. Event Manager is flexible enough to handle both simple and very complex fee structures for your event. In this example, I'm going to set a basic entry fee that everyone must pay, and then also assign a fee to each of the divisions I created earlier. Next, I'm going to set up an optional donation line for this event by simply checking the Show box and entering in some descriptive text. This is extremely useful for charity events. You can always come back and edit fees later, but this looks pretty good for now. As you can see, in just a few short minutes, this event is created and ready to accept registrations and payments online. Before I demonstrate how to register for this event, let's take a look at an event dashboard for administrators. Here, you see a dashboard view of some key activities for the event. The number of entrants, payments, etc. are displayed. As I mentioned earlier, you have the ability to edit anything you enter during the event wizard, as you see here. I can easily manage my entries by searching for them, view the details of a registrant, as well as export all my data to view in Excel. One of the greatest benefits of Event Manager is the notification engine. You can set up all of your event emails such as reminders and thank yous now and schedule them to run automatically. Now let's log out of Event Manager as an administrator and register for this event. Here we see the event I set up earlier in this video. I've also added some text, as you can see here. 
To register, a user would enter their email address to start. If they've registered for an event previously, the entry form will be pre-populated, as you see here. First-time users simply need to complete the form during registration. Next, choose the division I want to enter for this event. If you recall, in this example, a person can only enter a single division. I went back and created some custom questions, which you see here. Finally, your participant confirms everything and makes a payment. That's it! I'm done registering for this event. In just a few short minutes, you too can create a fully functional event website that can be configured to meet your specific needs. If you would like to learn more or sign up for free, visit www.competeat.com.